Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Daikatana for the Game Boy Color. When last we left off, Hiro Miyamoto is single-handedly infiltrating the Mishima Fortress, armed predominantly with a wooden stick. Admittedly, we do have a ranged weapon, but the wooden stick seems to be serving us quite well, and why switch from something that has proved to be deadly effective? We got a very long plot dump in the dojo that Hiro owned, from a mysterious stranger who told us of a magical sword that could be used to travel through time, and about the fact that Kate Mishima managed to get the sword, steal a vaccine for a deadly virus, and then use the fact that he had knowledge of the vaccine to control the world. We need to revert time back to how it would have been if things hadn't been meddled with. To do that, we'll probably need to get the Daikatana. We also need to rescue Makiko, the daughter of the person who gave us this mission. The person who gave us this mission is very dead, a combination of an explosion and the virus. There is somebody in the room to the north that I believe would help us if we free him. We need to find an access card to free him, and since we can't open this, we're going to have to head down, probably the only place where an access card could be. There is a very obvious panel in the floor that we need to open, but first we need to best the most pathetic robot in any game. This robot is being beaten by a wooden stick. I can't emphasize enough that a wooden stick is destroying that robot. Let's go in here. There is a face in the wall. The first thing I notice is that those two flashing things in the wall are eyes, and the thing we're likely going to have to open is a mouth. Those orbs are probably going to hurt us, so we're just going to run through them and get to that wall. There's probably no safe route to go through this, so let's go now. There we go. Open this, we get the security card, and those orbs have vanished. Goodbye, face in the wall. We're leaving. But the robot is back for round two! The saddest robot ever. There are robots that will likely zap us with lasers, and there are people here that have guns. They are more deadly than the robots. Let us free this person. Hero, use the security card. You are free! And there is a capsule there. You saved my life. Thanks. My name is Superfly Johnson. Welcome back, Superfly. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I'm Hiro Miyamoto. I'm here to save a girl named Makiko Ebihara. Makiko Ebihara? Is she a prisoner? Anyway, leave it to me. I was once the security chief of this fortress. What? Why were you... Well, Mishima was torturing people, so I asked him to stop it. I bet that worked really well. You wouldn't believe how terrible that idea was. I told him I want to quit my job, then they locked me up in here. But why did you work for him to begin with? Oh, if I didn't, they'd kill me. That does make sense. I see. So you're on my side, fighting against Cage Mishima? Well, actually, I was just going to leave, but I suppose I could join you. Yep. Well, let's go and give a good scare to Cage. Search her name in the database. Makiko. No, no match. I don't think Makiko is the usual kind of prisoner. She must be top secret. What do you mean? Her name is not in the prisoner's list. If only I knew what she looked like. You mean this hologram here? Where did you get that from? A dead body. I'm not gonna ask and I'm just gonna look at it. Oh, this is Makiko, right? That will help me with the search. Yeah, I got her. I got it. Really? Where is Makiko? She's on level four, kept in isolation and being treated as a VIP. It's further on in the fortress. I can guide you. Superfly, Security X Chief could show you a pretty fast shortcut to her. That is a pretty fast shortcut. Superfly is now the person we're controlling, who is functionally exactly the same as Hero. Armed with a wooden stick, we also probably want to grab this. Why not, eh? Let's get full health before we move on. Into here. There are enemies here, enemies we need to watch out for. Let's deal with you first, because you're probably going to have a gun. You didn't have a gun. Still a good idea to take care of you. Anything over here? The answer is nothing deadly. I can't presume that that would always be the case, though. These bats are eventually going to navigate their way over to here. And when they do, we're going to take care of them, or we're just going to wait, because you clearly haven't managed to get over to where we are. 
walk into the path of my deadly wooden sword. And so you did. What is over here? Okay, there is death over there. We don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. There's a door that we could open. And through here is, I imagine, a very easy puzzle. There is a switch, and this will make this move. We'll just stand on it. Marvelous. This switch is likely here just in case we wanted to go back. We don't want to go back. However, there is a robot here that we can best. Eventually, when the robot gets closer. And what does this robot do? Apart from float, I believe you zap lasers. We're going to have to be very careful of those lasers. We're going to have to move over here and hope that you don't hit us with one of them. Do you have a laser? I'm not sure you do. You do have a laser! Nice to know. Any enemies over here? Well, there's a van over there! And we found the Sidewinder! A handy thing to find. I think we should probably grab this, though. We're unlikely to come back. Onwards we go! We have no armor. Having armor would be quite handy. And this way will be even more puzzles, I wager. Oh yes, even more puzzles. More enemies that will zap us with lasers, too! Please be careful of those lasers, and I think that's the first time one of those robots has actually hit us. Only because we, uh, had to move away from you. Those lasers do hurt quite a bit, but if we position ourselves correctly, we can avoid damage. Positioning ourselves correctly is going to be a little bit difficult, what with all of these conveyor belts, though. The conveyor belts certainly are tricky, but with some clever movement, we should be relatively safe. Relatively is the key word. There is another pair of enemies here. We ideally want to get rid of you first, and make sure that the other foe does not get close enough. You got close enough. Unfortunate, we're just going to have to run into you now. There we go! That appears to be the best solution. Just waving this sword around deals with the foes quite capably. Here is a puzzle. What does this do? This activates that, and that moves all the way around here. I imagine falling into oblivion there is going to be bad. Can we jump into this? We can. Can we get off this, though? We can if we move off it. Good to know. That probably reactivates this. Yes, it does. We don't want to go back, though. We want to go this way and face the most pathetic robot. It really is a rather pathetic robot. Try again, robot! Try again, never. Down we go! In to the next area. Is this level 4? This floor is level 4. Top secret lab complex. They keep the temperature of this place terribly low. Body temp regulator should be somewhere on this floor. Okay, I'll take the lead. We're going to be grabbing this. It restores 50 health, not full health. Nice to know. Here is a robot! Here is another robot. We probably actually want to start thinking about activating the pistol soon. The Ion Blaster. It'll probably be really handy against the laser robot. Oh, careful! Or just uh, being here will probably help. There we go! As long as you keep walking into the path of this wooden sword, we'll be absolutely fine. Hurrah for terrible pathfinding, saving us health! Looks like there are things over there that we can open. Probably a good idea to open them. Anything in here? Excellent! We got a body temp regulator. Now we don't need to worry about this place being really cold. Over here, looks like a teleporter. In fact, it looks a lot like the teleporter that I got stuck in with the PC version. This is a new teleporter system, but it requires a special access code. How do you know that that is the teleportation system, Hero? Have you seen it before? Either way, we're going to go this way and find an enemy that we're definitely going to have to zap with the pistol. Let us zap this foe with the pistol and get into a good position to do so. Like that, it's not a very good pistol, but we did manage to defeat you quite handily. Oh, oh, we need to be careful here. That leads into the, uh, definitely damaging floor. That's probably electrified. Let's just zap you here. We took no damage because we zapped fast enough. We can't open this, though. We're probably going to have to uh, use this switch. One, two... Excellent, it is open. And I think for now, back to the indestructible wooden stick. The invaluable wooden stick! I think we found who we wanted to find. Makiko. 
we need to turn off this shield to get Makiko. Let's look for the shield switch. I doubt that is the shield switch, but we'll use it. What was that noise? I've no idea. Let's go into here and see if anything has changed, and the answer? No, nothing has changed, so it is not here that we need to go. Maybe it's further back? Let's check. Anything changed down here? No. Nothing has changed here, which means that, aha, that stairway didn't used to be there. And there is something here that we can grab. A cartridge for the Sidewinder. This is purple. And what does this do? This makes red. And this makes green. We don't want that. What does this one make? I imagine this is going to be blue. Blue and red make purple. The puzzle has been solved. Let us go and head back the way we came. And the enemies have reappeared. Unfortunate, but we know the optimal place to stand to take care of you. And the other robot, too. If you'd like to come this way, robot with a laser, that would be wonderful. For we will hit you with a wooden stick. In fact, we will step down here to lure you over here. Ah, you're coming this way anyway. You really shouldn't be spinning around constantly. It's not good. Would you like to come over here? You would! Marvellous. One hit there, two, and eventually you'll come back here. I'd rather take my time in hitting you and not take much damage. Brilliant. This really is a good strategy. They should probably build better robots. Definitely. When you were the security chief, were you responsible for allocating where the robots were? Oh no, that was somebody else. I wouldn't have robots this terrible. Let's get the gun, because, yep, you're back. And jumping is not what I wanted to do. Zapping is what I wanted to do. If you're fast enough, you can get them without them hitting you. How about thee? And we were successful. Let's switch back to the stick. You never know. Hello. Ugh. Wake up, Makiko. Are you awake yet, Makiko? You literally just asked if she was awake. Well, she might be awake. You... who are you? I'm Hiro Miyamoto, and this is Superfly Johnson! Why are you here? Your father, Toshiro Ebihara. He asked me to save you. Dad, where is my father? Did he come with you? I miss my father so much. Mikiko, I'm sorry, but... Your father... he's gone. He asked me to rescue you, then... he died. Oh, no! <laughs> Was he killed by the virus, right? No, he wasn't. He was killed by Mishima's Team Ninja. Well, he was also killed by the virus. It's sort of a little bit of both of them. Oh my god, Cage Mishima! Now I must have my revenge for my father's death! But what about the Daikatana? Haven't you recovered Daikatana yet? Well, we've only just got here. I was already here. He infiltrated with a wooden stick. A wooden stick. It's more effective than you think. No, not yet. Wait, it's very dangerous up ahead of Miss Fortress. He's right. Let's retreat now and... What? If you won't come with me to get the Daikatana, I'll go alone. Okay, okay, Makiko. I can't let you go alone, alright? And so the party is united. All three of them. And they all work exactly the same as each other. As far as I know. So, we shall now head to the only place that we haven't been and had anything happen. The Special Teleportation Room. Makiko, do you know the code? Hush, I'm recalling. I stole a glance at the code when they brought me here. Yes, okay, I got it. Hurry up, get on the teleporter quickly. And by going through this teleporter, I will have made it to a further point than I ever got in the PC version. No crashes here! Magical teleportation away! We are now here. It's a good idea to save. Start opens up the save menu, and then you can save. Brilliant. Onwards we go! To this room, where there is somebody who wants to say hello. With... Zappy lasers. Fortunately, we can just hit you there. 
There is an obvious solution to this puzzle, the puzzle being that we cannot access this uh, area over to the right. But we can push this, which will allow us to jump to here, and then to here, and then open this up. And we will head through the ventilation system. Can you make it over here? It would seem like you can't, but you're desperately trying to shoot us. Let's just, uh, do we have to- oh, we, we have to fall. Fair enough. You are gone. And we can now open this. Does this head down to there? I imagine it does. It seems to be heading in this direction. We can now open this up. No longer do we need to go through that system. Let's explore around, and there is somewhere else that we can go. But first, we need to take care of you, and I didn't know that you could shoot me over that block. Let us try again, this time with less failure. There we go, we did get hit though. Unfortunate, but we'll be okay. There we go, that is open, that should lead us over to here, and then we can use this and open up the way so that we can use the stick some more. Why not? Aha, ninjas. Let us uh, ready our weapon that is undefeatable. And fortunately, when we have uh, hit and defeated one of them, the other one doesn't reappear. You are gone. Two items. We got the uh, Sidewinder ammo and some armor. The armor is always good. There doesn't appear to be anything else here, though. So onwards we go, in another direction, to find the Daikatana, and hopefully not do something terrible with it. We're likely going to do something terrible with it. We could go this way, and over here are some stairs down. Don't want to go that way yet, I want to go this way instead. Anything over here? There is! Hey, what's that? That's the long-lost Daikatana! Problem is, how should we get it? That is a good question. Right now, there is no way that we can access this easy-to-access weapon. Seriously, we went in here with a wooden stick. We have got this far. There are things that we can grab here, like this ammunition and this health. We'll grab the health, and then we'll head down. I wonder where down heads to. Aha! Enemies! Ninjas! You're not going to even try and attack me, are you? Are you going to attack me? You probably should! I'm over here! No? Okay, now you're going to try and attack me. And you're going to try and shoot me. That's fine, because I have this sword. And now you are gone. Is there anything in here that was worth exploring for? Nothing there, nothing here. We can't push any of these. So it would seem that there was nothing worthwhile in here. Oh well! Up we go! There were two uh, switches, though. Let's see if we can use them. Let's switch one. Which does that. And switch two. Which resets switch one. Okay, looks like we have found the way to get to the Daikatana, but there are now enemies that are going to try and stop us from reaching the Daikatana. Unfortunately, these enemies are terrible robots. Are these robots made of paper? That would be my only explanation as to why they are so easily bested by a wooden stick. But they have tried to sneak up on us. Keyword is try. One of them even managed to hit us, taking off ten points of armor. Well played, robot. Your reward is death. There is one enemy here. We'll very quickly take care of you. And there are enemies here now, too. It's like the game realized that we should have had enemies here from the very beginning. You won't stop us from getting to the Daikatana, though. At least I hope you won't. Hello, guess what? I have a stick. You are soon to be bested. And you have been bested. Onwards. To get the sword that we came here to get. So that we can make history. Never mind, we can't do that. Maybe there's a timer on this. I imagine there is. Let us go and see if we can be much faster about it. Let's press this. And that has made that reappear. We'll be very quick about this. Aha! Enemies have appeared, and there is now a hole in the floor. That is something I didn't know was there. Holes in the floor are not good. Then again, it does kind of make sense, because as you can see, there are different colored uh, floor tiles. Obviously, I didn't notice that. There is still one more threat that we need to deal with, and that is this robot. 
Would you like to come over here? I bet you would! Zap, zap, zap. And you are gone. Let us, this time, be very careful. What we want to do is we want to press this. That has made that reappear. Excellent. We need to be much faster this time. And avoid you. And get over here. Very quickly walk past you. I think we constantly take damage if we hit enemies. And is this still there? Yes, it is! I got it! I finally got the Daikatana! Uh, uh, uh. I didn't expect you to make it this far. Who is that? Cage Mishima. Hey, look at him! He also has a Daikatana? Two Daikatanas exist? Ha! You are such idiots! This is what happens when you can warp time and space. I sensed the distortion of the dimensions and came back to see you all here, the descendants of Ebihara and Usagi. Cage Mishima! Time to die! You don't understand, do you? You'd better be careful, hero. Don't you know that our Daikatanas are one and the same? So what about it? No, stop, hero. Cage is right. What do you mean, Makiko? Uh, I'm right here, you know. Be quiet, I'm talking to my companions. It's extraordinary. An object can exist as two separate entities at the same time and in the same place. But if the two Daikatanas ever touched, they would repel each other. Try to deny each other's existence, much like matter and antimatter, and the world may collapse upon itself. Ha! You can test your hypothesis if you'd like, but I wouldn't recommend it. No chance. Fight fair and we can settle who the real owner of the Daikatana will be. That's really not a good idea. Do you really expect it to fight fair? No, but I'm going to ask anyway. Shut up, you fool. You think you can stand a chance against me, the Great Cage Mishima? Ha! That's a laughable concept. What? Usagi created the Daikatana, and you're one of his descendants, but you don't know how to use its true power. Okay, I will show it to you, silly Ebihara girl and stupid Superfly. I'll banish you all forever to the ultimate prison, the inescapable prison of time! Watch and see the true power of the Daikatana. Why are we just waiting for him to do this? I've no idea. <laughs> uh, where am I? Makiko? Superfly? I must have lost them somehow. Hamadaikatana seems to have lost all its power. And so, when we come back, folks, where are we? Or more importantly, when are we? And where are Superfly and Makiko? Can we escape from here, the prison of time? Can we defeat Cage Mishima? Will the Daikatana ever regain its power? At least we have it in our inventory. Goodbye, Wooden Stick. We have found a better weapon, the Daikatana. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.